What's up guys, Body Tags here, and for those of you that didn't know, last week my Toys Technique Mechanic Breakdown video made it to the front page of the League of Legends subreddit. This was pretty bittersweet for me because I've always wanted to reach the front page of the League of Legends subreddit, however the information in the Toys Technique video was incorrect. After watching the video, LS reached out to me and explained that range indicators in League of Legends are almost always shorter than the actual ability max range, and even though I thought I was doing the Toys Technique, I was not doing it properly. Properly. We're going to listen in to part of mine and Alessis Skype call and we're going to talk about why the video is incorrect. So let's get into it Yo, hello? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, man, how are you? I'm good. Um, okay So I think it's really good that you're making videos on, on stuff like that But the the toys technique, I mean I can tell you how to do it if you want to try to like go and replicate it just because Selfie um, failed it, it doesn't mean that you can't do it, but basically Selfie was doing it like 30% of the time, but he also only spent like five minutes on trying to do it. If like Korean pros, you know, spend an hour trying to raise their, because th there's a difference in playing League of Legends and having a mouse speed of like 130 APM when someone like Toys had like, 250 you know what i mean like yeah. there's a discrepancy between um the mouse speeds when it was invented right matchups in mid lane that were very common was like oriana versus karthus um or like oriana versus kassadin um or you know oriana versus katarina and shit like that very common matchups where oriana could get someone underneath the tower um, and just because of how passive and like everything the lanes were and just how everything was very linear and played out um, The the utility of that spell was very potent inside of the laning phase, but now everything's changed um, You don't really see someone getting shoved under tower for 10 minutes straight like that's just not a part of gameplay anymore um, And then all this other stuff like whatever anyways um, the toys technique uh, involves seven actions like exactly seven in about one second with your mouse um which isn't impossible um you know korean starcraft 2 players can go up to nine actions per second on their mouse at certain points um nine actions ten actions on a very high spectrum you can get like 11 if you're like for some reason really spam cl uh clicking um i think there's one video which i go over it in like if you want to find it and then make a video on it i don't see the point of um making the video on it like myself but if you want to do it that's like whatever okay. um but um anyways like I, I know you made the the video on di and that was a really good video and stuff and the analogy you used was actually really perfect um when referencing stick shift versus automatic that was actually really intelligent um the one thing though is that, I mean, I'm just saying this is like, not advice or recommendation, maybe it's not even my place to like say this to you because like you don't really know me or whatever, but I think when making content, it um, you should fully understand what it is that you're saying because otherwise it can be detrimental to one's growth. Um, and what I mean by that is like, so if you make a video and you put it on front page Reddit, um, it can be assumed that you're going to hit like 80,000 people, right? Like on average, um, yeah. if you get front page. So if it hits 80,000 people and then 75,000 of that believe the video, um, then you have 75,000 people believing something that's actually wrong. And then what happens is another coach or, you know, some content creator that has to edu educate people then has to undo it. But then they also have to argue against the content which you originally created. And it just it creates this like slowness um, in the scene. All right, guys, huge thank you to LS for coming out of the channel to clear up that error in our last video for us. I really do apologize for the incorrect information on the Toys Technique video. I encourage you guys to check out some of my other videos, which are correct. There will be a link on the screen right now. As far as the Toys Technique, if you're still interested in the end slate of this video, I'm going to include a link to a video on LS's channel that talks about the Toys Technique further than my video did. And if you're interested, make sure to check it out. And that's it, guys. My name is Body Tags. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting the channel. There will be weekly videos this summer. And remember to have a great day.